Okay, so let's get started on June 19th, Wednesday. What happened on the 19th? A delivery to uh, Katie's Corner. All right, delivery to Katie's, Katie's Corner. Corner. Okay. Today's uh, 19 June. Uh-huh. 50% uh, has to be got uh, by Katie's Corner, uh, to Katie's Corner, uh, Regular coffee, 15 pounds, 49.35. The print coffee, 10 pounds, 39.90. Ceramic mugs, 20. And uh, 9 dollars 80 cents for a subtotal of uh, 189.05. Delivery charge is $80. Risk amount is uh, uh, 219.05. TOD 109.53. Uh, total amount due is 109.52. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, so the only money we're getting right now is the TOD. Perfect. Yes. Okay. The rest is like a billing, an invoice. Perfect. Two Katie's. Um, isn't this Albert's sale? This is oh, Albert's yeah. sale, correct. Okay, so then we gotta go there too later. Yes. Uh, okay, first thing we have to do then is uh, I'll record the sale. Okay. Yes. Right? Correct. General General uh, for regular coffee, 15 pounds at uh, 49.35, right? Mm. Well, we 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 got uh, what is the transaction on hand? <laughs> okay. You know, deal with the money first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's 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 figure out what the accounts you're gonna uh place everything first, and then you can deal with the money second. This one you don't have to deposit right away. <laughs> right. Regular right. coffee. It's a print coffee. Coffee mug. Okay. Why? Okay, those are all inventory items. What are you missing in front of it? What account are you using? Cost of goods sold. The, we're, we're recording our, our items that we sold, but we, we're not recording the items that we're not, we're not dealing with that. We're, we're recording sales right now. Coffee. Okay, so where are you gonna put that first? Um, how about accounts receivable? Okay, that's one of them. Okay. Because, again, you were right. We created an invoice. They owe us money. Mm -hmm. All right. What did we receive from them? A check. check. And where does checking go? To the bank. And what account is in the checking in the check? <laughs> uh, where does a check go? Checking. Checking. Yes, it goes to our bank, which is considered checking. Yes. I think we're counts receivable. Is it twelve thousand, or is it one hundred? 
No, it should be should be eleven hundred. Eleven thousand. Uh, the sales. Okay. Regular coffee. Uh, sales coffee. Yes. Yeah. And sales. The cream coffee. Okay, good. And then sales. Ceramic coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what accounts are those? The account numbers. Oh, no, wait a no that, that that's not right. It should be no, zero fifty. Forty uh forty uh one hundred. Goes to cream. And then sales coffee mug, uh forty uh one fifty. Of uh, forty nine thirty five. Okay. And uh, Supreme Coffee is a uh, credit of uh, thirty nine ninety. Okay. And then Ceramic Mugs is a credit of uh, ninety nine dollars and eighty cents. And eighty cents. They wrote a check for one oh nine fifty three on the debit side. Okay. And then accounts receivables to nineteen oh five. Yes. Why to nineteen oh five? Well, uh, because the subtotal of the items come to one eighty nine oh five. Plus thirty dollar yeah. delivery charge. Okay. But they paid half of it. They paid half of us in advance, or they they just paid half of it. Yes, but uh, don't they get charged delivery charge uh, uh, also? Okay. Is there a delivery charge account? Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, wait a minute. Let's back up a, a bit. Uh, they pay for half of it. That's what COD, that's what 50% COD means. Why did we receive a check? I thought it was uh, cash on delivery. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. Okay. okay, how about this? Let's take a look at the commissions. Just go ahead and take a look at it. Let's, so let's go, let's go visit the employee, okay? And let's go visit um, the commission's expense. Yes. How much is the total invoice amount? Two nine. Two nineteen oh five. They gave us a check for a hundred and nine dollars. Okay. So if they owe us supposedly. Oh, two nineteen to begin with, and they paid us half of it. How much do they owe us now? And what does the good? And what does the invoice? What does the receipt say? Nine fifty 
that is not what I'm looking at. What does it say amount due? Amount due is one hundred nine fifty-two. Correct. Yeah. So they owe us one hundred nine fifty-two. All right. That's a description. We're not done yet. Sorry. You got okay. So now that we cleared up that, and um, Lee touched upon something important. I did. Yes, you did. If we look at here, what are we missing? There's, it does it does the invoice say anything about sales tax? No, no, it does not. But it has delivery charge. It has a delivery charge. Go ahead and take a look at your chart of accounts under revenues. Delivery income, 40, 41,000, 48, 48,000, 48,000, 48,000, 48, That's $30 for delivery charge. Okay. So now we get the correct amount. We get two nineteen oh five. Okay. All right. All right. So good. Now our journal is complete. It's accurate. And then what is our going? What is our description going to be? Um. Uh, it, it was. Uh... Invoice for Katie's Corner. Okay. Number 101 for Katie's Corner. Okay. So I'm going to do customer first. So Katie's Coffee Corner, comma, invoice number 101. 101. Anything else you want to put in here? Okay, that's fine. I think that'd be all. All right. Well, don't we have to make a note of Albert that this is Albert's sale? Yeah. Yes, if you want to go all the way there first. There's no real specific order. If you want to validate and calculate his commissions right now, Okay, we can do that later. Okay. So what's the first thing you want to do? Go to our ledger. Go to our ledger. Okay. We want to go to checking first. Because we need to do the check, right? All right. Are you just going to write receive check in here? Yes, ma'am. Did Katie's Coffee Corner check have a number on it? Uh, let me let me let me pull up Sarah. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, receive yeah. check number 412. 412, okay. Debit. Okay. Oh, five. 
$7.55. Okay, so you missed a few cents here. You, you yes, you did because we we had we started off with one ninety eight fifty. I thought it was four ninety eight fifty. Yeah, four ninety eight fifty. You you you. I think you forgot the fifty cents. That's how you got forty seven. I don't know where you got 55 from. Because. Because there's nowhere on here where you had a 45 cents. It's one oh nine fifty three. I wrote it down it was for point oh five. Okay, go ahead and refer back to the scenario or your journal and what is what did you write in your journal? Uh one oh nine fifty three. Okay. So that means therefore you need to write in your journal. The same exact thing as I mean, you need to write in your ledger the same exact thing as your journal. Journal. Am I right this time? Go. Okay. Let's let's do it again. So um, four nine eight fifty. Okay. Uh, uh, I think I calculated backwards. Okay. All right. Three. Okay. So where do we need to go next? Receivable. Okay. Fifty three. I oh no no you're right fifty two. Am I supposed to be confused now? Yes. Invoice number one oh one. General journal number seven. And you said one oh nine. Fifty-two. Yes. And you have a running balance of one hundred nine fifty-two. Perfect. Or zero. All right. Now where do we go? Four zero zero five. Uh, four zero zero five. Now we go to sales. Uh huh. Regular coffee. Uh huh. Yeah. Why? Why is it boring? Uh, what? Because we never. This is our first time entering in yeah. this one. Because now instead of selling by the, we're sell instead of selling individual cups, we are selling. It by the pound. We act as if we are a okay. wholesaler ourselves. Okay. Six nineteen. All right. 
post reference date. June seven. All right, and how much of the the regular coffee do we sell? Forty nine thirty eight thirty five. Forty nine thirty five. Now we go to sales, supreme coffee. And post reference GJ7, amount is $39.90 per. Thirty nine uh, ninety nine eighty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which gives us what? Uh one forty four seventy four. Yep, one forty one seventy four. One forty one? Yes. Okay, let me do that again. Are you right? 4174. Okay. And we want to go to deliver, which is all at the bottom of this page. Uh, delivery income, which is page. Uh, Yep. Where do we need to go next? I want to say inventory sheets. Not yet. Subsidiary. Subsidiary, yes. Where do we need to go in subsidiary? Chat, uh, uh, Katie's corner. Who? Albert. Albert. Well, let's do that. Let's do Katie's Coffee Corner first. Who is Katie's Coffee Corner? Uh, it's a customer. It's a customer. Yes. Okay. It's on the front page. Yes, it is. Katie's Coffee Corner. All right. Before we go on, because we need a due date, how do we find the due date? 19 June. That is the day that we gave them. They, we have to give them um, okay, a date to nap, pay. It says NAP 5. Perfect. So five days from the 19th is the 24th. She needs to pay by the 24th. Okay. And how much does she need to pay? One on nine fifty two. Where hold on. One oh nine fifty two. Okay, so this is where we're gonna say um, she paid 
the the amount that's on her um, invoice is going to be two nineteen oh five. Okay, because she made a payment. She didn't make an advance payment, but she did make a payment of one oh nine fifty three. Okay, so therefore. She's supposed to owe us two nineteen, but we, you know we never received her a payment in advance. We only received it the day that we delivered it. Uh -huh. So here, it's going to be two nineteen. Okay. Oh, oops, shoot, wrong one. So the original invoice, right? We're gonna minus any advance payments. We're minus any sales returns minus any sales discounts, minus any payments, and we should get, she still owes us 109.52. She just okay. sent us a check. Yes, and we should put that information in here. Right? Mm -hmm. Check number 412. All right. Okay, so you guys understand how to fill this out? Should we also put the invoice number on there? It's on there. It is? Yes, 101. Oh, oh, right next to it. Okay. All right, I see it. Okay. All right, now we can go and visit Mr. Allen and verify. So what was the date that we delivered to Katie's Coffee Corner? 19 of June, okay? It was invoice number 101. The total amount was 219.05. So what is 10% of 219.05? 40, uh, 40, uh, 40, uh, I get $21.91. Yes. 10%, David. I, I don't know what you, I don't know what you punched into your calculator. So therefore, we owe him $21.91. Okay. Cool. All right. I just can hit to go further. Okay. All right, now I think, I believe that should um, be, oh, yes, we do. That is the next portion. Oh, okay. What I meant is, I think that's all the worksheets that we had to go through just to finish up this transaction or this sale. Uh, we don't post anything to the general ledger. We already posted to the general ledger. Yeah, we just went through all that. Okay. Okay, so now we go to our inventory sheet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we uh, uh, make a, uh, uh, we sold. Uh, How many pounds of regular coffee did we sell to Miss Katie? Fifteen. We sold fifteen pounds of regular coffee to Katie's Coffee Corner. And what number are we multiplying? Uh, one uh, six. Uh, I have one six one. It's one six uh, oh, oh nine five. Uh, one nine four one six. Okay. So we get what? Four. 
41. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, 14. 24, 14. 24, 14. So we have to subtract the 15 times from 224. Okay. And we get how much? Uh, 209. 209. Two minus twenty four fourteen three thirty six thirty eight three thirty six thirty eight. Okay. Okay, so now we go to Supreme. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta do the, the oh. cost. What cost? Oh, wait a minute. This is the yeah, moving average. Okay. Yeah, you're so yeah, you're supposed to update the cost, the cost per oh. item. Oh, okay. One point zero nine. Yeah. One point six zero nine four seven. Mhm. All right. Now, okay. So let's go to Supreme. How many pounds of Supreme coffee did we uh, sell? Ten. Ten. Where, okay, and what pile are we taking it from? The first pile. The first pile. Okay, so 97 minus 10 should be 87. So, 97 minus 10 is 87. Right? Yeah. I'm just waiting no, for. <laughs> yeah, no, I got, I got lost. One seventy four sixty. Wait a minute. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay. One point eight. One fifty. One fifty six sixty. That's what I got. Uh, Yes, one fifty six sixty. Yeah, I got. Okay. Eighty seven times one point eight fifty six sixty. Mhm. And then we sold ceramic mugs, didn't we? David, what tracking method is the ceramic coffee mugs? Do we record the sales? No, ma'am. Not yet. Okay. Not until the end of the period. Perfect. Not until the end. Okay, so now what do we do now? We... I'll go to our next transaction. What did, what what do we need to record? What did we just calculate? The uh, supreme coffee. What did you calculate? Uh, 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 we sold 
Yeah, uh, 10 pounds at 1.8 would give you $18. And uh, at 10 minus uh, 97, 87, 10 oh. times 1 1.8, 156.60. Okay, so what did you ca just calculate? Inventory on hand. That's inventory on hand. I'm talking about what did, what did you calculate here when you sold 10 items? The cost of goods sold. Okay. So that's where we need to go. Yep. Cost for goods sold, a regular copy. Yep. And cost of goods sold, supreme copy. And where are you taking them out of? Um, the out of the regular copy, the inventory. Good. Um, and Supreme copy. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, I, 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 I skipped a step. Yes. All right. So, how much? How much did you sell of the regular coffee? Uh, Forty-nine thirty-five. How much did you sell? Oh, twenty-four dollars and fourteen cents. Twenty-four dollars and fourteen cents. Not what we have now. Right. And the other one's eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. And uh, just uh, transfer the same thing over to the treasure side. Yes, because you no longer have that. We just calculated how, um, that amount out taking out of inventory. Katie's Corner. Okay, Katie's Coffee. Do we have the account numbers right? Um, uh, I don't know. Because uh, I thought it was 450 for regular coffee. Cost of goods sold, regular coffee. Let's see, cost of goods sold should be a 5,000. Oh, Let me okay. see, cost, expense, cost of goods sold oh. is four, yes, yeah, 5,000. Mm -hmm. 5,050 is for regular coffee, 5,100 is Supreme Coffee. Yes, 400 is the sales. Right. Or 4,000 is the sales, 40,000 is the sales. That's okay. Okay. So should we note that it's to Katie's corner? Mm -hmm. Yes. Katie's uh, corner invoice one at one. What up, Nick? Under description, sold to Katie's um, Coffee Corner, um, invoice number 101. Okay. Now where do we go? Scenario. No. General ledger, okay. Number one, I guess, and I guess a number, a rule of thumb. Anytime you post to the journal, you need to post it to the ledger. Okay. Okay.
Okay, that's part of the accounting cycle, right? Step three is to post to the journal. I mean, to, to journal. Step four is to, to post to the ledger. And why do we need the ledger? That is true, but it's also to do step number five, which is to create the trial balance. Right. Okay. So. So here for cost of goods sold, regular coffee. Okay, what general journal are we on? Uh, seven. Seven. And uh, what amount are we debiting? Uh, 2414. And you're looking, uh, your running balance is uh, 6587. Yes. Just on the next page, uh, 31. And uh, like uh, 10 pounds. Journal 7. And that's for $18. And your debit. So what's your new amount in your um, inventory? $384.66. What did you say? $384.66. Okay, where can you where can you double check your answers? And with you. No, with your inventory um, worksheet. Okay, if you can validate that that was three hundred forty eight dollars or something forty six cents or whatever you said, it should match on your inventory worksheet. Okay. Yeah, so 
Okay, and how much did I sell for the 18 pounds of the Supreme? I'm sorry, 10 pounds of the uh, Supreme, $18. So what is my new running balance in the, um, in the Supreme account, in my inventory? How much? Anybody? What is my new balance in my Supreme Coffee inventory? 385.10. 385.10, which matches our inventory worksheet. Okay. So what I did on the side is because that one gives you a total of everything. Um, what? I, oh, wrong one. What I did was I wrote on the side right here, I just added the total. So my total, I should have 212 um, pounds left, and it's worth $385.10. Okay. okay. Good. So we matched our, um, our ledgers and our journals, and they match our inventory worksheet. Okay. All right, that's it for that one. Okay. All right. Now, one thing that we didn't do that I would suggest, okay, so Lee, wanted the first when she saw this transaction the first thing she wanted to do was, was, was deposit the money okay now it doesn't say to deposit the money but you can't what you can do is you can at least record it so here in my deposited funds right you can say i received the check but did i went ahead and deposit it no because at the end of the day i still have to go um deposit the money in the in the bank anyway so i can wait till the end of the day to deposit the money so at least I can record the check. I recorded that I received $109.53, okay? And when we reach the end of the day, that's when we can go to the bank and deposit both the check and the cash that we received from sales. So at least recognize that you had a check, okay, in your deposited funds. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the next few transactions and then we can go ahead and call it a day and or call it for the rest of the week and then we'll finish up on monday okay, okay. so what happened here okay we purchased from restaurant supplies okay so uh and we pay by credit card okay Visa payable. Where does that go? Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to the journal, right? Yes. Okay. Um, that would be a credit. Yes. Uh, so I'm a little backwards. No, we're still 19 June. Okay, so we have uh, restaurant supplies. Do we have an account called Restaurant Supplies? Hello? Uh oh, are you, are you. Everything okay, David? Yes, I'm right here. Okay. My computer stopped working, so I had to go to the phone. Okay. 
we're almost done here. We're just I'm gonna have you guys journalize the next two transactions and call it for the rest of the week. Okay. Okay. So, what happened here? We went. We purchased restaurant supplies. Okay. What did we order? Uh, we ordered coffee cups. Okay. So, um, medium coffee cups and large coffee cups. Yep. Medium coffee cups and large, which is coffee cups. Okay, and what account numbers are those? Perfect. Visa payable. All right. Are we paying the tax or are we collecting tax? Uh, we're, we're paying the tax. Okay. So therefore, we don't need to have a sales tax account. Okay. Because we're not, we're not, we're not, customers are not paying us to collect the money to, for us to pay the government we're already we're doing our duties to pay into the government as in we don't need to separate the money oh, okay. yes okay. but so what do we know when we when we purchase assets What's included oh, in asset costs? Cost. Yeah. Yes. It includes all the costs of getting it. Per exactly. Okay, so that would the total is included uh, includes the sales tax. Correct. Okay. <laughs> so now what? Well, tell me. Well, how do you how do you how do you divide how do you how do you split sales tax? Okay, so uh, well, it's the same amount. So you know, okay. Well, it doesn't. The rate on here. You will okay. Assume that it's eight point two five percent. I think yeah. I forgot to add. It's eight point two five percent. Okay, so then a hundred dollars times eight point two five percent. Okay. Yes. Eight hundred eight point two five. Yes, eight dollars and twenty five cents. Yes. And are and what do you do with that eight dollars and twenty five cents? You add it to the hundred dollars and get eight one oh eight twenty five for Her. a medium cup. Okay. And then um one 
162.38. Okay, and does that give you um, 270, 63? Yes. Yes. All right, so a little side note. If you do not know how much, if, 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 if for this scenario, since we're not given the sales tax, right, and you need to calculate the sales tax, it's pretty straightforward, right? In order to find the percentage of tax, what you're going to do is you're going to see the amount of tax, right? So the amount of tax is going to be $20.63, correct? And what is the total amount that is originally um, being taxed on? It's going to be for the 100 plus the 150, which is 250, correct? Mm -hmm. So in order to find the percentage of that, you're going to take the $20.63 and you're going to divide that by the 250. And you're going to get 8.2 right here, 0 0.825. Right. Just like that. And that way you can find out how much tax is. Right. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, I, I, I gave it to you um, for sign's sakes as well. Let me go ahead and enter that in here sales um what did i say 8.25 percent sales tax there you go okay all right so good now what we need to put a description what's our description What's what's the store? Restaurant supplies. Restaurant supplies. Okay. Okay. And I bought what four thousand cups. Uh, David, you were breaking up really badly. I didn't hear anything you said. Oh. Uh, can you please leave it here uh, for a minute? Yeah. Uh, my, uh, as, as I told my internet. That's fine. Okay, so here we recognize that we purchased medium cups and we purchased large cups and we purchased and we used it with a Visa credit card. Okay. All right. So okay. now, what do we need? What do we need to do now? Go to the ledger. Uh, In our, our ledger. ledger. Okay. Okay. So we're going to our assets. Okay. So we're gonna go to our ledger. We're going to go to our assets. Coffee cups. Medium coffee cups. Okay. 619. How many cups did we buy? 2,000. 2,000 cups. seven. GJ7. 
For how much? All right. So therefore, our new running balance should be 162. Go ahead. 37. Correct. Now we go to our large coffee cup. Yes. Nineteen. Thirty eight. Forty four. Forty three point sixty seven. Yep. I'm eyeball eyeballing it. <laughs> Tough because you know you're really working backwards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So then, uh, okay. So that's okay. The visa payable. Okay. Visa payable. Page one eighteen. And that would be uh, 4,000 cups. Yep. And 270.63. Can I take the card away from us? 270.63. So our new balance is. Where did you get 54 cents? I don't know. I, I got... I don't know. I had that. I put down... Uh, what did you get, Lee? Uh, I accidentally erased it. Okay. That's fine. 273 plus 540... Okay. I'm just making sure everyone else got the same answer as well. Correct. Okay. What's next? Okay, uh, don't want to have to go through. Okay, we already updated our assets. Now, This isn't an inventory item. No, it was an asset which we already updated. Correct. So, um, oh, account, uh, accounts payable. Oh, no, we already did that. Yes, we already did the visa payable. We did a subsidiary account? Yes. Oh, yeah, subsidiary, yeah. Subsidiary yes. Account. Because we bought it from somebody. Yes, from uh, Restaurant Supply. Correct. So let's go to... Mm -hmm. To Restaurant Supplies. Correct. All right. Six, DJ seven
Five ninety four. Where are you calculating that? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. That's okay. Never mind that. <laughs> we've already done that. We just paid it. We're not adding to what we owe. Okay, so okay. we just paid it. Yeah. We made a payment, so zero payable. Perfect. Perfect. Can you tell I'm anxious for this to be over with? Yes, yes. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm, I mean, I want to go ahead and I want to finish the rest of the, the, just end up finishing the last page, but it's okay. We could stop here for, to, for today.